Washington through the Small Business Administration. And our local office has been on the campus of Youngstown State University also for 50 years. And we do counseling Monday through Friday in the mornings. We take appointments 9 and a 10. We're at the Youngstown Public Library once a month in the evening. I'm very happy to have our business librarian, Ed Katonsky, who's sitting there in the back. Wait, okay. And we will also meet people at your convenience. So I've met people at Dunkin' Donuts, at Panera's, <coughs> at a restaurant, because people work and they can't always come in the morning. So we try to be as accommodating as possible. I've even emailed during snowstorms this past winter. I did counseling on the phone, so we couldn't get to our location to meet. So we're always looking for volunteers. Um, so if you feel you have a special skill that you would like to contribute as a speaker or as a mentor, uh, we, we are very happy to talk to you about it. You can go to the score.org website and there is a button there that says you would like to volunteer. You can fill that information out. It goes to Washington and then it comes to our office and then we'll be in contact. So please give that a consideration. I'm also excited to see so many SCORE volunteers here today. And would you like raise your hands please so people can see who you are? Okay, I'm gonna start right up here with some of my two new young ones. Oh. And this is Rayshawn Oliver. And Rayshawn will tell you a little more about herself, but she's a businesswoman, a college uh, graduate from Youngstown State University. Here we have uh, Leah Nesbitt who joined us and she has her own uh, service as well with social media marketing and she gave a wonderful Facebook talk last month and she's also a YSU grad. At this table, we have David Mullins, if you wanna raise your hand, who's our tax specialist. And see, you don't have to be a mentor. We have a category for individuals who are working like these young ladies, and they do programs, or like David, he will answer if you have a specific tax question. So throughout the year, I've been sending him questions that our business people have. And in October, David will be speaking on all the new small business tax laws. So keep that in mind. We don't have a flyer yet, but that's coming up. Then we have Ron De La Pena, and we have, uh, I'm running out of steam. Uh, Mark Cole from the Mark Cole Insurance Agency, and he gave a wonderful talk last year on networking. I hope you know he'll give that again. And then we have Ray McAtee, who has a fascinating background, multiple uh, businesses, as well as currently equine management. Uh -huh. uh, if you don't know what that is, then you gotta ask them, because it's very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. So I'm glad to see such a nice group of school members here today. And please feel free to approach them and ask them, you know, any kind of business question you have. So this business to bagels program has been sponsored by Kravitz Deli, and that's why we're here. Uh, Jack's out of town right now, but I always uh, give my words of appreciation to him. And primarily, I have to uh, show appreciation to our major sponsor for SCORE this year, which is the Youngstown Foundation. So we thank them heartily for making it possible that we are able to continue with these programs. Uh, we had a young man pass out flyers tonight. We have a Facebook clinic part two presented. So if you can get to Sharon Library, that's great. And then starting next month, we have a five month series once a month at the Oak Hill Collaborative. And I'm happy to see that our director is here from the Oak Hill, Pat Kerrigan. And Pat Kerrigan is our partner. In order for our organization to exist, you need to partner with your area uh, organizations because they give you lots of 
public relations, they give you a site where you can hold meetings. So I'm very appreciative to Pat that he lets us hold many SCORE programs at his uh, facility. And coming up, if you saw this five-part series, these are all individuals that Rayshawn has interviewed on her YouTube channel, entrepreneurs. It should be fascinating because they're going to talk about what success means to them, how they got started, the challenges they faced, and it's going to be very interactive so that those of us who are there can ask them questions. So it's always interesting to know what kinds of businesses other people are in and how they get those off the ground. So on the table over here, please look at the handouts. If there's something there you would like, please take it with you. Um, and I'd also like to mention our major partner is, are all the farmers markets in this area. So we make the rounds to Howland, to Austin Town, to wherever. And uh, our another partner is the Kitchen Incubator and the Call Debate Cafe as well. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Rayshawn Oliver. And she's going to tell you about how to get started in YouTube. And I've become a YouTube junkie. So I've given up the TV, and now I just look at history, documentaries, educational things, just a whole wealth of information. But YouTube has become extremely significant for small businesses. And if you've noticed, if you're on Facebook with your business, videos have become a very important component to driving traffic to your website or driving traffic to uh, reach your future customers. And one of these ways is through YouTube. So Rayshawn, thank you. Take it away, as they say. Nice. Thank you, everyone. I so do appreciate all of the applause. But I am just here to talk about how to create a YouTube for free. The first thing um, I want to, I will be discussing some things. I'll talk a little bit about myself, just to let you guys know something about me. Um, why choose YouTube? People want to know, why, why would I choose? Why would YouTube work for my business? Why is it beneficial to me? Um, that's important. Also, you want to know um, what's holding you back. If, you, if we discuss why YouTube works for you, it works for you, and then what's stopping you now. So we're going to go a little bit through that. Then we're going to talk about some equipment that you're going to need because um, I know that's a big question. Lighting, some video editors, what, what types of things that you can use, and after that, how you get it set up, what you do after you get all of those things together. And we did discuss free, so this is all gonna cost you nothing um, unless you don't have a smartphone. And I, I don't know what to tell you if you don't have one of those. <laughs> because any smartphone will do. All right, I'm glad someone laughs at my jokes, I'm telling you guys. So, um, yes, I have I have a YouTube channel. Hashtag Reunify is the channel, as you can see. It, um, yes, can everyone see? All right, great, just making sure. Um, that is my channel. That's me doing some full lace, deep wave curl thing. I have 207 subscribers and I uh, posted 230 videos already. Um, yeah, um, I started the beginning of this year that I was going to post a YouTube video every day for 365 days. Um, of course, I am midway through and I'm probably a little nutty now, but <laughs> coming up with ideas and being creative can be complex, but it is one of the best um, creative lets of the business that I have. It is a wonderful place to be, to show people what your business does and actually demonstrate how you do it. Um, so many people want to keep it a secret, but customers are intrigued by stuff like that, like completely. Um, my goal of my channel is to uplift, encourage, inspire, and enhance the beautiful that everyone already has inside of them. All right? That's me and my channel, and that's what I drew um, for there. Next, we're going to get into the nitty gritty. We're going to start talking about why do people use YouTube? Why is it a valuable asset to your business? Um, first of all, Google owns YouTube. Owns YouTube. So when someone searches my name, they get 
my Google, but they also get my YouTube. So I'm getting two different hits in my SEO just for that, just because I have a YouTube video. So it is so valuable to your business to have a YouTube video. If, you're, if they're typing in your business, all of those things are coming up. You're gonna get your Facebook, you're gonna get your YouTube, you're gonna get your, you know, and you're in the Google search. You're like, you're hitting on the top. You're like, yes, that's a good thing. So it's, a, it's definitely gonna be additional to your business. Um, YouTube has one billion people on it. People are on YouTube and it is consistently growing. They are not stopping everything about, I found a YouTube on how people who are growing avocados. <laughs> And I can't tell you that is the most interesting YouTube. <laughs> but, 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 I am growing an avocado. His name is Avo. And, <laughs> and um, but yeah, so there are so many different things that you, you would think that people wouldn't want to know, but they do. Um, here it says some statistics that it's 50% a year that is growing. So 50% of a billion, you know, that's exponential. Not going to do the math on that, but however. Um, also, YouTubes are very, very easily integrated into your social media platforms. So you get a YouTube video about your business, then you want to have it on your website. You want to have it on your Facebook. So easy. You, even on your, your LinkedIn, um, your Twitter, there's, those are just links. But when you're sharing it to those different platforms, it's easily embedded. You just copy and paste that YouTube link into your website um, where they ask for it and you have your YouTube on your website or on your Facebook. It's very, very valuable in that way. Um, you, that is the only platform where you can actually take that video, like you can't go from Facebook to YouTube with the video. You see what I mean? But you can take your entire video from YouTube and share it to all these different places. So that is another valuable thing within itself. You know. Um, so we're gonna move on next here, again, um, if you have any questions throughout, we're going to save them to the end because I want to make sure I get to the valuable information. Um, unless it's something that needs to be, that's misunderstood, that needs to be clarified, okay? All right, got it. Next. All right, so now we know how valuable YouTube is. We know that all these different search engines and the, you know, that those different minor things, or I mean those minute things that are so valuable, different little pieces that add value to your business. So what would hold you back from doing a YouTube video after knowing that this could be a benefit to your business and you can have some fun do it? Nothing, really, nothing, because this is gonna be free. So you can't say it's money, but and when I ask that question, I get different people, you know, they're like, oh, it's just me. I, don't, I just don't have the time, I don't have the energy, or I don't have the equipment, I don't have this big camera, I don't have the right lighting, um, I don't have anything. It's all of these things that, that you don't have. But I am a firm, firm believer. If there is something that you want done in life, if you always see the things that are in the way, you will never get there. Mm -hmm. Look for the things, look for the ways around it, and that's what's gonna make you guys successful in a YouTube, in a YouTube channel. Um, I want to, again, hone in on um, YouTube. A lot of people think that YouTube is this place that they make so much money and they, you know, that's why they want to do it. I can tell you if you're going to get into a YouTube, don't do it for the money. Don't do it for the money. Because um, as there are some people who have these, you know, big breaks. What are they? A whole lot of overnight hitters and, and all of that. They got so many likes or so many views, and yes, that's great. But YouTube is a very extensive job, and if you if you're not if you're doing it because you want to monetize on YouTube and make money on YouTube, they have completely changed analytics and all of that. So, but that's a whole nother ball game. That's once you get your YouTube started. But again, we're talking about getting started. But getting started, don't do it for the money. Do it because you want to be creative, because you want to be able to show your customers what your business provides for them in a way that no one else is doing or other people can't because no one can one no one else can be you on YouTube. How about that? <laughs> you can be you. You can show them. You can show the best parts of what you have to your customers. All right, so now we're gonna get you started. So we're gonna have no more procrastination. You can't tell me that you don't have a camera because again we got those smartphones, not enough time. We'll talk about that. So we're gonna move on ahead here. Now we're gonna start this YouTube. Equipment, you need your smartphone, Android, iPhone, anything that's going to record, be able to record you. 
okay? So you're gonna make your little video. You decide what you want your video to be about. You want the content to be valuable. Something that you might wanna learn or something that a customer, customer may have asked you recently. You know, um, maybe one of your clients come in, I do hair, so and they say, you know, I really want um, long, long hair and I, I, what, what type of hair extensions should I get? So there, right there, that's a YouTube video. The, every question someone has is a YouTube video because every time someone has that question, there, I'm telling you, I can guarantee you there's someone else who's asked that same question, even if you think it's dumb. And I know we've heard this since we were kids, but we always think that, oh, that wouldn't be a good one. But all of them are good because it's valuable to somebody. You want to be increasing the value of people's lives, and that's what's going to increase the value of your YouTube channel because it's only worth what people see. If it's valuable to them, and you make it valuable to them, then your YouTube channel will be, um, begin to flourish. All right, so you're gonna need your smartphone, iPhone, Android, either one, whichever your preference is. I know that's kind of a debate for some people. Um, you're gonna need good lighting, and then um, something to prop your phone up to keep it facing you so that, because um, you don't wanna keep it wiggling around unless you got someone like really good and steady who's gonna hold it real steady for you and tell you you're doing a great job. It's always great to have that person behind the camera, too. Um, there are many things that you can use to improve the quality of your YouTube channel. I mean, tons of things, all kind of equipment. But really, all you need is your cell phone. All you need is your cell phone. All right, next. Lighting. So the best lighting is going to be natural lighting. Um, the other option, if you do, again, we're talking about free stuff. But if you want to invest in lighting, like I said, there are all kinds of things that makes your channel better. Um, I have this newer ring light over here. Uh, I got it off of Amazon. It's like, I don't know, maybe 130 bucks. You get your phone stand, that works also. But again, if you want to do it for free, use natural lighting. Find a, a room that is that you get some good sunlight in. And the trick to that is making sure that the camera, the part that's looking at you, is facing away from the sunlight. You don't want that sunlight right in the camera because then they won't see you, you know? So if you do that, you can really get some good footage of like what you're trying to depict, what you want them to see. Because natural lighting gives the best color anyway, really it does. If you can get some good angles, you can really get, some, you're like, wow, I, I recorded this. This is awesome, it's kind of cool, it really is. Um, but again, I use the newer light. Um, if you have any questions about that, I'll answer at the end. Okay, so phone prop. And the phone prop again is just to prevent using someone who's unsteady holding the camera because you don't want a wiggly screen or anything like that. And um, as you can see here on the, um, on the projection, there is a bent up fork because that was my phone prop when I first started my YouTube channel. I needed my phone to be sitting up. And so I, you know, and that creative mind of mine, I'm like, what can I use? And um, yeah, I got, you know, it's all intricate. You see that it had the little, I thought I did a good job. You should have seen me with my little tool. It's all creative. So again, phone prop, fork, or <laughs> go on Amazon. Spend about 20 bucks and you can get a phone, actual like phone tripod holder. They have some small, clever ones. Um, also, I think Five Below has some stuff like that also where you can get. But that is because you want a nice, steady video. Um, let's move on here. Time. So making the time for YouTube. If you truly want to do anything, you make time for it. I mean, that's just the truth. And you don't have to do what I did. You don't have to say I'm gonna post a video every day for 365 days and actually continue to grind it out. You, you can say, I want to do, um, I wanna start a YouTube channel and I wanna highlight one of my um, wonderful clients, uh, you, American National, I know, you know, in, insurance. One of my um, American National clients who just exemplified the most, they, they really were appreciative, and so I'm gonna do like a customer appreciation for them, just once a month. You sit down, you do it once a month, and you schedule it into your day. And if there's any other type of, I, I mean, I'm not for sure of other businesses or things like that, even like, a lot, like your Ed, your librarian, so um, your, custom, your person who comes in for your help and actually proceeds and is successful with that, highlighting how the library helped them. 
you know, that would be an excellent way to exemplify or rep, rep, uh, represent the library in a positive light. YouTube, once a month, it's easy. Once you get the template for it, you can just do it. You know, just things like that. Find ways and give yourself a schedule. Don't um, make it this, oh, I'll do it now, I'll do it later. Just once a month, you uh, obligate yourself to it. And if you find that it's really helpful, then you would increase from that point forward. But just be consistent with your posting, no matter how consistent it is. And then let your viewers know, hey, we're posting once a month a customer appreciation. And that's how often. It'll, and it'll build. People love seeing themselves. <laughs> uh, they do. They do. They're like, oh my god, I'm going to be on YouTube. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you're going to be on YouTube. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, so here. And there, there it is. Yeah, be realistic about the time you can devote, devote to it. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, I'll forget if I don't ask you now. Mm -hmm. If you video somebody to put them on YouTube, do you need to have a release form signed by them? They are there. <laughs> they, they are speaking with you. Uh, it's no. Still, it's like, no, 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 no they give their care permission. Yeah, like yes. they're sitting there with you All with right. the camera. Like, okay. they can't be like, well, no, I don't want to do this. Like, what you're doing is like, you don't, don't need it in my No, no, no. Okay. No, no ma'am. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Because they know it's going to be on, otherwise, they wouldn't be sitting there. I know, there. it's just legally. Yeah, the pictures are different. Okay. Yeah, pictures are different. Okay, All right, so next. Um, again, free, free, free. There are video app editors, so if you're doing your customer appreciation video and you're like, um, say you're chewing your gum and you forgot, and you're like, oh, so yeah, we need to cut that out. Well, you can edit your videos. <laughs> you, can, you can edit your videos for free. Again, just on your iPhone, you can have um, the iMovie, apparently is free. I don't have an iPhone, I use an Android. Um, I'm not opposed to either. I actually like the cameras on both, and I'm just confused on which one is going to be the best. But I, you know, just don't go buy iPhones just because you want to try out the camera. So I'm going to try like something on that. I want to try that too because it's it's a nice platform, and iPhones have a good density in their images, which is probably so like beyond. You're like really you're talking about camera footage. Sorry guys, I love what I do. <laughs> and um, again, Android, uh, I use Kind Master. That's what I am heavily familiar with. You um, have your video on your phone, you've recorded it with your bent back fork, and it's nice, <laughs> it's steady. Um, you've done it in a quiet place if you need it to be quiet, but YouTube videos, again, you, you're being you. If I'm doing a YouTube video about a fun day at school, I, I doubt that the kids are going to be quiet in the background. So just make the video, the essence of whatever your video is, just important to you, however you think it's relevant. Yes, sir? I, I have to ask. Go ahead. What devices would you need if you wanted to record yourself doing, like, like a video game? Um, if, well, again, I've used my cell phone. I've actually recorded myself playing a video game. Now, if you're speaking about, um, like, quality of transfer and, you know, the, the, the pixels and you want to make sure it's in real time and, like, things like that, then, yeah, then you might want to get into some advanced stuff. But, yeah, I'm telling you, I have a video of me playing Fortnite with my kids, and I don't like that game. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> yeah, of course. I, I it's scary. They, it's like people coming after you, and you don't know where they are, and you feel like you're going like this. Yeah, no. Mm -mm, I started crying. Don't, <laughs> don't watch that video. That's why. Don't. Yeah, it's not up. I took it down. <laughs> so, but um, but yeah. So I yeah I use my phone to record that. I set my ring light, my phone right behind me, looking at the TV. They, everybody watched me, and then I was like, cut, 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 you know, that's all that happened. But um, again, and Animoto is another free access to editing. Editing, again, is a whole nother series. If we want to do a series on video editing, that might be helpful for people who already have started a YouTube and they want to get a little more creative, maybe we'll do something like that. But um, if you just need an editor, those three editors are options for um, the different types of phones. So now we got everything set up. This, that was the process. We decided that there was nothing in the way of us getting a YouTube. We took our phones and we got some natural lighting and our bit back fork and we decided the atmosphere, the, the tonality we want to set for our videos and we start recording. 
We edit the video to the best of our ability, and now it's like, what do we do with this? So then you go on to YouTube. Um, if you haven't signed up for YouTube, most people have YouTube. Is that true for the people in the room? Does everyone have YouTube? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you go on to your YouTube and you sign up just like you were doing like with Facebook business or anything like that. You go and you say, hey, I wanna be on YouTube. I wanna upload videos. So you click upload. You either click, you know, go live, record, or upload, and there you are. You're taking off to having your own YouTube channel. You can create playlists, and there's all kind of intricate things that you can do with your YouTube channel. Um, the best thing about YouTube is that it's a place where you can be you, truly. Um, I do, I don't limit myself to one thing because I think that everyone finds value in all kinds of things. And you wanna be, have some variety. Um, when I first started, I think I was afraid to be, you know, you're like on YouTube and you're sitting there and you're like, uh, what do I say? So I would look at the camera sometimes and just stare. Like, I'm like, oh, I gotta cut this part. <laughs> My daughter was editing at the time and she would say, mom, why are you staring at the camera? And I'm just, I don't know. And, and so I said, I, don't, I just don't know, I don't know what to say. And she says, yeah, but you got it written down. You do this all the time. What do you mean? And I'm like, okay. I said, but there, I think there's so many people looking at me. And then my son says to me, um, mom? I said, yes, honey. He said, um, I know there's a lot of people on YouTube, but the chances of billions of them watching you are pretty slim. You're probably going to have like four or five, you know, we got mom and Dorian and Queenie will watch you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so at that point, it was like, you know what, that is the truth. So start your YouTube as if no one was watching because eventually people will just because you're being you're truly being yourself yes sir how do you get subscribers only through search well subscribers are people who go to your right. youtube but i mean how do they how by search do they find you or there's another means of yeah it is drawing people to it letting them know sharing okay. sharing your video people who know your video share the video uh, people who like your video, share your video. You really want, to, that's, how you're, that's how you penetrate the market, is having people share your video is the, one of the most valuable things because, and, well, you can do a uh, Facebook post on it, but that's spending money on it. You don't wanna be spending money on it. You just wanna, because YouTube is not, you make money eventually on YouTube once you get, I mean, the analytics of it now, previously it used to be 10,000 views, which was, you know, I mean, goodness, that was nothing. I, I thought I was working so hard to get there, and then I got there on Facebook, I mean, and YouTube was like, eh, psh, stop, guess what? You got 10,000 views, we don't care no more. <laughs> we, don't, we don't care no more. So now, you don't have to only have 10,000 views. As a matter of fact, your views don't, don't even matter. Now it's how much watch time you have, which you need at least 4,000 hours of watch time, yeah. on top of 1,000 subscribers. So, yeah, do not start YouTube because you want to make money. Unless you think you know like a thousand people that are going to be like, yeah, subscribe for me right now. Then you can start making money immediately. And that is even through sponsorship. It's not necessarily through YouTube. YouTube does not pay people. So, and, and that's again, an, oh, so complicated. It's a lot to learn. YouTube is a big, big world. Um, getting out there is just making sure that you, whatever you're doing is valuable and loving what you do, people will share it and people will, will hold that. Especially, if, you know, if, if you're crocheting, have, think about the videos that you share. If you're a crocheter or if you're, um, if you do sports or if someone did like a real creative blog on somewhere you want to go. Say you're visiting Paris and someone's going to Paris and they did a blog on it and you get to see preview of, oh, that's what's going to be there? Oh, maybe we want to go there. And it's really nice to actually have that visual of it. So, um, just, just find the value in the things in life. It actually teaches you that. To find value in life. Find value in your business. Because sometimes we lose that. But finding, doing YouTube has taught me that for my business, to find value in it. Yep, 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 yep. Ring, 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 ring. Um, some of the things that are um, important with your YouTube are your thumbnails, which is that little picture that you see prior to clicking. You're like, oh, that's a nice picture, I'll put that. That's, you wanna make sure that you have nice thumbnails. 
pick something that you would want to click. That is important to keep people clicking your YouTube. So that would also help with getting your, your YouTube out there because you have creative thumbnails, something that's going to be interesting to the reader. Um, be authentic. Just be who you are. Don't try to go on and, and be someone else that doesn't last very long. And, unless that's part of your YouTube idea. <laughs> unless you've written it in the plan, you know? Um, and like I said, we talked about that before. Whenever you post, just let your subscribers know about your consistency. There, this, there's this young lady who, because um, I also watch YouTube, and uh, she makes these cakes, these oversized cakes. They're huge, and it's called How to Cake It. And she posts once every Tuesday, and she says that. And that's fine, you know? And everyone, she still has like a million people. I'm like, oh, great, you know? So it, it is not about how often you do it. It's just that when you do it, you're doing it great, and you're doing something that people want to see. Um, final tips here. Um, when you're recording, you want to look at the, the little circle that is the camera. That's what you're looking at. Um, I, I don't. I was confused too. I always felt like I'm like, should I just look straight? Where I don't know, because I felt like my eyes. It just never connects for me in that. Unless if you're not really, it helps if you flip your camera. If it's looking, if, if it's doing a selfie mode, and you're recording in selfie mode, if your phone is capable of that, that helps because you can actually see yourself. So it seems like you're talking to someone. So you don't have to be looking for the little camera where, where the eyes, you should see me and sometimes at the beginning of my videos I put it up and then I'm, I'm like this I'm like <laughs> looking around I'm like okay wait we're oh there it is there it is but yeah so that is a um, good tip also um, when you're recording this is like the number one thing have you ever seen a YouTube video have you seen those black lines on the side this, that is because they are not recording horizontally this way oh. We need to hold our phones horizontally when recording. If you hold it this way, you're gonna get those black lines. Because when you upload it to YouTube, it, it just transforms the video into this format. But if you record this way, you will get a nice full video. And that's what you want. You, want, you don't want those distractors on the side, unless again, it's a part of your plan and you're gonna put some creative words or stars or, you know, pictures of hashtag beautify coming on the side. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, and once you begin to love it, you just be patient with yourself. Uh, eventually everyone wants to make money for something that you do. Of course, YouTube is, you wanna make money on it. I wanna eventually make money on YouTube. Yes, I do. Um, but be patient so that it's driven by your passion and not driven by trying to make some money on it. Because really, YouTube is fueling my business in other ways because I provide, I do these things on YouTube, but now people are like, I like her, so I want to buy her hair. She's cool, I love the way she wears her hair. I wanna buy her hair. And I'm not getting paid necessarily for YouTube, but it is so valuable when a customer has a question and I'm like, I actually have a video exactly how to do that. Here it is. Very simple. So, um, that is my spiel on the theme for today. Yeah. All right. So, any questions? Anyone? Yes, yes. R A Y S H O N E. No, no, Oliver. O L I O R. Initial title, score, and so once we're together, the time span throughout the video, there's the interview rather. A couple hundred times. And then my mom says, Right, right. So, whenever you're ready, you can take it away. So, we're going to use our pick All right. You just tell us uh, what what your program is about and how long you can do it. My program today is about YouTube and how to start your YouTube for free. Um, I've been doing YouTube for about two years now and I've grown my channel um, to over 200 subscribers and I really do love what I do. But just tell people how to do the YouTube channel for free because people think that you have to spend so much money on equipment and it doesn't really take that much. Okay, uh, what's the name about monetizing? I guess it's about like, advertising for businesses. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yes, absolutely. Um, really, when you're thinking about doing a YouTube channel, if you're looking to do it just for the money, you're setting yourself up for failure. You want to be able to provide a value to your business, something that's really invaluable to the customer, and that's you. The That one-on-one -on -one experience, they get to see what you do. They get to see how to use the things that you're offering.